Hey guys, it's Bones and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my match day vlog. Yes, finally. It's been a month out of me not doing any sort of match day vlog. I've been extremely busy, extremely poor, and quite frankly, most of the time a little bit ill as well. I can only apologise for it. There's enough excuses now. I'm back here now at the Betfrey Set Side Stadium, just behind me there. Today's match against Charlton Athletic, very important game after we lost 4 0 to Derby um, last week. We definitely need three points now. They're two points ahead of us on the table, two places above us as well on the table. We're 21st, they're 19th. Winning against them today, we go jump, jump in the table, one or two places, depending on what Huddersfield do as well. So it's a vital three points we need today. Hopefully, we can get it as well. It does come out the January transfer window as well. Pick up some good faces as well. Tasha and Oakley, Oakley Booth, as well as James Chester coming in. And there's one more, obviously, I keep forgetting the name of. Uh, the man from Blackpool is coming the midfielder. I can't always forget the name, should have done my research, but hopefully to see him and what he's all about as well. Obviously, hopefully, we can get to see all those faces on the pitch today, maybe get a bit of action, a bit of minutes and all. But we need three points today, it's big, it's big. I'm back vlogging, I'm glad I'm back, back vlogging. Hopefully, I can come to the Preston game at the week, uh, in midweek as well on Wednesday. That's also here, and then we obviously have another big game because they're, they're pushing for playoff places, and obviously, we need to a big win against another big team so today Charlton they beat us 3-1 early in the season I think it was quite good quite near the start as well first first or second game of the season so we need to get a bit of revenge on as well three points come on Stoke come Strong start at 11 yet again. James Chester makes his debut for us after coming on loan from Villa. Tyrus Campbell back up front as well, which you love to see. And then what we need now, a big three points. Hopefully Bruno as well is good at left, is, does the job at left back. He does do a good job at left back. I just hope uh, he can do a good shift today, put a good shift in for us as we need it today. Let's just hope we can get some revenge on Charlton. Revenge for the three what lost last time out of the valley. I'm going to go for a 1 0 win, I think. 1 0 win, Tyrus Campbell to get it. Come on, Stoke. It can be called on as a difficult subject. Over the weekend, this weekend, and next weekend, every football team from across the land will dedicate their matches to heads up. We can all do more to support each other, and that starts with talking. Kick off a conversation about mental health this weekend. For more information, visit heads up, heads together we welcome you all to the Bet365 Stadium. Bet365 Stadium Championship Football, the visit of Georgian Athletic and your mighty
some, go on some. Touch. Oh. Ah, oh, unlucky. So is Danny. Hold oh, on. Guys, away. Before 
You can't separate down the door. Forget me, Delilah. I just couldn't take any more. Whoa! Why, why, why? Delilah! Come on! Back sick again. Go on, Mac, keep going. Fucking bleary as well. Back it. Go on, come on. Come on. Oh, no one. Yes, Sob. Boy, ten. There you go. Megs, go on. Corner, come on! Get there, Joe. Oh, come on, then. Two minutes, guys, come on. See you at the off. Go on, Bruno. Now, Tom. Get off your line! For fuck's sake! Currently half time and we almost saw out a really good half there with a clean sheet but didn't quite get on camera but Tommy Smith was the person to put it in the back of that four as a own goal. Uh, my prediction's out the windows, so it's currently 1-1. Like I say, we had a really good half. Charlton had very little chances, we've created quite a lot. We got a creative goal from a free kick, looked into the back post, headed back across goal from the claim to just tap it in at the near post for uh, 1-0. So all we need to do is just keep creating chances like that and we'll be in the shot of winning this game. Obviously we need to come back and get something. We'll probably get something early on really. But we're still waiting for that Tyrese Campbell goal, so that's all we're waiting for. And it was just a bit unfortunate really. We just played the ball into a six yard box and Tommy Smith didn't clear it, so that's why we're back on level two. So another big 45 minutes coming off because if we get this to side. This is a very big, big, big game at the bottom half of the table, so we need to pick up the three points here. Baby. Come on, so big 45, come on. Come on, boys, big second half now. Come on, boys.
straight away. It's done. Sam Birch. Send him fucking off! 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 
off! Send him fucking off! Fuck's sake, ref, he's shit! You fucking shit, ref! Fucking sort it out! Oh, I've done. Take the throw, okay. Take a time. Fucking good! Dirty prick! Go on it! Go on it! Go on ref, keep running! Give it back to him, come on. Yes, sir. All this us, all this. Go on, get a four. Go on. Oh. Look how dirty the fucking four yellow cards, dirty bastards. That's, that's gone now. Double! Behind the scenes of RBSCFC, let's get some in-depth analysis.
Bloody hell, so then Gary says it's a brilliant way to get revenge on Charlton. They beat us 3-1 at the Valley in the season, and now we've got revenge. 3-1 victory for us. Really brilliant game. We played really, really well today. Um, I was safe. Start things off, McLean's goal, ball into the back post, and, uh, and headed in from the back post, cross goal, James McLean's there, tap it in 1-0. Their goal, obviously, is a little bit fortunate, Tommy Smith got an own goal and put them back on level teams, but to be fair to Charlton, it was a dangerous ball in the six-yard box, and unfortunately, Tommy Smith was on the end of it, and he just couldn't get it clear, and he hit it into the back of his own net, so I uh, went into the break at one all, but very, very quickly, Michael and Neil's team so must have quit because Tom Hintz and the rest of the squad came back with such speed and we managed to come back and get that lead again. Take a 2-1 and lovely brilliant finish. And uh, again, Charles and caught nappy and we managed to get a third through Nick Powell. So we slammed it into the net. Have another cross and that is how the game ended. Lovely 3-1 win. Lovely way to get back to football vlogging as well. I say I've been out for a month or so. So obviously getting back to this, getting back to winning ways. I think the first time we've seen three goals game for quite a long time so all I can say is brilliant win takes us up to the 20th now Huddersfield did win their game so that means we do drop well do go up to 20th go up one place and obviously Charlton dropped the 21st they're getting close to relegation zone now as well like I say it's a scrap at the bottom but we're slowly and slowly creeping away from it so hopefully we just keep on keep on going the way we are Preston up next it's going to be a very very tough game Preston looking for the playoffs and we need to look like we want us to get want to fight it and look like a team that should be up there but anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and if you haven't make sure you leave it a like if you haven't drop a dislike and let me know why in comments below so we can improve if you're new be sure to subscribe because I'm very close to 700 subscribers now guys so hit that subscribe button down below and help me reach that goal and if you stays up to date with more match day vlogs and also some career mode as well FIFA 20 as well I'm trying to get some other content as well for you guys my my ideas aren't the greatest so bear with me on that but thank you guys for watching I suppose signing out peace